In this video we will demonstrate how to install Kaspersky Endpoint Security on computers. After the administration server has been installed and updates have been downloaded, we can install Kaspersky Endpoint Security on the client computers. To solve this task, you can use the remote installation wizard in Kaspersky Security Center. The product to be installed is selected from the list of installation packages. The distribution of Kaspersky Security Center includes the current versions of installation packages. You can manage installation packages, delete or create new ones in the installation packages node. Open the list of installation packages and check their settings. If necessary, change the packages settings, or create new packages with the necessary settings. The remote installation wizard is the preferred installation method in Kaspersky Security Center. The wizard prompts the administrator for the installation package to be installed, target computers and the settings. If Kaspersky Endpoint Security is selected in the deployment wizard, it will be installed together with the network agent, which will connect the computers to the administration server. If the computers are already connected, the network agent is not reinstalled. To specify the target computers, click the button Select Devices for installation. You can select groups or separate computers for installation. To perform installation on unassigned or even undiscovered computers, select from among the computers discovered by the administration server when pulling the network, or click the Add button to manually specify addresses of the target computers. The wizard first tries to install the product using the network agent. If the network agent is not yet installed on the computer, installation using Windows Tools RPC, is tried. If both Kaspersky Endpoint Security and Network Agent are to be installed on the computer, the wizard first installs the network agent using Windows Tools, and then installs Kaspersky Endpoint Security using Network Agent. Select the option Do not place key or activation code in the installation package. Kaspersky Endpoint Security, unlike the network agent, needs a license to operate properly. In the installation wizard, you can explicitly select which license to use to activate the product, from the list of those added to the Kaspersky Lab licenses storage of the administration server. If necessary, you can add another code or key to the repository without quitting the wizard. The wizard offers to select restart parameters, however, in most cases neither the network agent nor Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11 installation requires restarting the computer. The network agent installation almost never requires it. During Kaspersky Endpoint Security installation, the necessity to restart arises if another protection program is installed on the computer. The default choice, Prompt User for Action, works well for workstations. When installing the product on servers, we recommend selecting Do not restart the computer. At a server, a user is unlikely present and no one will react to the prompt. Kaspersky Endpoint Security is not compatible with other protection tools. Before the installation, the conflicting programs must be uninstalled. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Installer can detect and uninstall incompatible applications. We recommend that you uninstall incompatible applications by their own uninstallers, or regular operating systems tools. Select the option Account Required for Installation without Network Agent. Installation using Windows Tools needs an account for accessing the target computers. The deployment wizard allows you to specify several accounts, in case different administrator passwords are used on the target computers. The installer tries the accounts in succession. If the first account has insufficient privileges, the next one is tried, and so on. Specify a username and the password and click OK. The installation wizard uses the settings specified by the administrator to create and immediately start the product installation task on the selected computers. Close the deployment wizard, click Finish. Afterwards, it automatically opens the tasks node in the administration console. You can monitor the task progress here. An installation can be ready for execution, running, wait for reboot, complete successfully or return an error. The number of computers in every status is displayed on the pie chart and in the table. The installation history of a computer shows that first the network agent is installed, and then Kaspersky Endpoint Security. 
To install the agent, its files are copied into the admin dollar shared folder. After the agent is installed, the administration server waits for it to connect and start the installation of Kaspersky Endpoint Security. Network agent installation is usually followed by relocating the computer from the unassigned devices to manage devices node. 